Early in the War of 1812, General Harrison marched north at the head of a militia squad from Kentucky and after a long siege took control of Fort Wayne. The British garrison put up a desperate resistance. Harrison's squad suffered heavy losses. The British soldiers possessed a much better military training than the American militia, but owing to their superiority in numbers and their perseverance, the American troops were able to force the British to leave the fort and retreat to the north. Britain's participation in operations in Europe left no possibility of sending reinforcements to its armed forces in British North America, which numbered 5,000 men at the time. The USA launched several forceful but badly planned offensives against Canada, which led to defeat. The reasons for their failure lay in the military superiority of the better trained British regular army, as well as the patriotism of the French Canadians and the majority of immigrants from the former American colonies. Though in 1813 the Americans obtained control over the Great Lakes and plundered the Fort of York, they failed to annex the Canadian lands. Tecumseh, who had fought for the British, died on the banks of Lake Ontario on the 5th of October, 1813. The U.S. troops managed to eliminate the threat to their northwestern borders, but their attempt of aggression against Canada failed, because despite the war with Napoleonic France and the Continental Blockade, Britain preserved enough forces not only to defend Canada, but also to advance on the territory of the USA. The borders with Native American lands remained under dispute for a long time. The tribes actively opposed the attempts of colonial intrusion into their territory. As a result of successful military operations, Britain acknowledged the sovereignty of the American colonies. In 1783, they were forced to sign the Paris Peace Treaty, according to which the United States obtained their independence. After the end of the war, George Washington was unanimously elected the first president of the USA. Washington took up the post on April 30th and was re-elected in 1792, 
Under Washington, the territory of the state expanded fast. As a result of a deal with Spain, the borders of the U.S. and Spanish colonies followed the 31st parallel, which created excellent conditions for the conquest of the Wild West. In 1791, Vermont, a new northeastern state, was annexed. Kentucky followed in 1792 and Tennessee in 1796.